So by now, some of you may have been asking, what's a DS grid? So a DS grid is, as it says in the name, a grid. So it's something that maybe looks a little bit like this. So you can see we have um, kind of like a uh, battleships or a kind of a file in Excel, if you want to put it like that, where you've got a different number. So you've got numbers going along like this. This one doesn't count. So you've got zero, and then one, then two, and three, and then four. So this one here, for example, would be one, zero, or it could be the other way around, I guess. It doesn't really matter. But the important thing is that in these slots, you can put a value or a string or whatever. So let's say we want to put a number two here. And in this one, we want to put a number three. Let me just ignore that bit for now. So what a DS grid is, is it's basically a cell. It's basically a cell. If you, you this is an Excel, um, it's a, uh, a slot. So this number here, you can go and assign this. So you can say something like, it would be something like this. Two, one, equals two. And that would assign this value here in the grid to be two. So let's go and see some uh, useful snippets and stuff. So how you can make a DS grid in the first place is you can say DS grid create but to do this in the first place you have to come up with a variable. So in this case we're just going to do grid, oh, grid. and it's going to be grid equals and then the actual bit itself takes in two values. It takes in a width and it takes in a height. So we're going to say a, a width of five and a height of five. And you close it off like that. And now that's all sorted. Another thing though that you want to do before this, or after this even, is you want DS grid, DS grid clear. And then this takes in an ID and a value that you want to clear it. So what this will do is it will basically erase anything existing that we have in here and set it to whatever we want to. So in this case we want to set it to zero. So we put the ID in, which is grid, and then zero. Very simple. Now what we want to do is we want to assign it to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to say grid, and then you need one of these square brackets, and then you need an accessor, which in this case is a hashtag. And this allows us to access that grid. There is other functions as well, I believe, which you can do DS grid add, which also does work, but that's a more slow way, and this is more direct. So it then takes in an X and a Y. So in this case, this is our X and this is our Y. So we're going to say 2, 1, this slot here. And you do comma one, and you close it off, and then you've got to give it to equals. So we're going to equal it to two. So this is just going to create what we have here, and this will literally assign our grid at this slot in our grid, which is here, to be a two. And you can use this for many different purposes. So you could have um, a string here. You could have different numbers for different occasions. Um, you could have, you could just make it so it's a times table. That would literally work. You know, you could have it um, to make. Um, I know in the sandbox one, we had like a little. Um, let's make this a bit thicker. Uh, like this, we had kind of a grid like this, and then we. Uh, so, oops, <laughs> didn't mean to do that. We had kind of different blocks. We had a bit like this. So you can say this bit here: one, two, or be zero, be there, someone. And you can say that that slot there is a grass. So there is a grass. That's a dirt. It doesn't show up. But you can see where it can come into use. It's so that is how you can use DS grids and how you can um, 
put them into a gradient to make it easier. Also, if you've worked with arrays, they're very similar to them as well. So, uh, if you liked this mini little um, explaining bit, so uh, telling you what these grids are and how to use them, then remember to like, subscribe, or just do whatever you guys want to do. And I will talk to you later.